Hello everyone. So today we'll be starting with Unit Five, which is the uh, economic presence of the government. So let's see what are we actually going to study in the next two chapters. Okay, uh, this unit discusses the role of government. We're going to study the role of government in providing public facilities as well as implementing laws that apply to the market, factory, and the working conditions of people. The aim is to allow students to understand the ways in which the role of government is linked to concerns addressed in a fundamental right. You know, so how government uh tries to um, deal with all those you know, public facilities and then uh, the linkage with our fundamental rights in this it is this link to uh, rights that provides uh, connection to similar issues raised in earlier chapters um also the discussion in cha in the class 6 and 7 textbooks on livelihood and market respectively can also be used to provide a context for discussion in chapter 10 chapter 9 uh, uses water as a primary example to discuss public facilities it is important that the student understands quite clearly what is meant by the idea of public facilities uh, facility. so what do you mean by public facilities and why the government needs to play a crucial role in their um provision and therefore take all take a overall responsibility the idea of equity or equal availability affordability and quality of water for all is one of the key issues related to public facilities that the chapter highlights in the classroom discussion it is crucial to separate discussion on the importance of the government's role in providing public you know uh, facilities from current unequal provision this means the fact that persons currently get different amounts of water would not be viewed as a reason for the government not being able to provide public facilities you know chapter 10 discusses the central role of the government in regulating economic activities this is largely done through laws and the chapter discusses on the importance of implement, uh, implementing existing laws as well as making new laws to protect the rights of workers consumers and pro, uh, producers in the market the bhopal gas strategy is discussed as an example you know it is a very uh, important to see the role of government in uh, in uh, you know implementing laws and uh, you know for the safety of um, uh, this um, workers what are the working condition is discussed as an example of the law, uh, of the lax enforcement of the laws law a uh, lax matlab weak matlab not very tight okay it is quite likely that students might have not heard of this strategy uh, sorry of this strategy sorry tragedy uh, and it would be helpful to have them research this and perhaps create a wallpaper or skit in this on this for the entire school the websites indicated at the end of the book could be used for additional reference material the bhopal gas strategy or uh, what is wrong i'm sorry tragedy also marked the move uh, moment in which environmental issues you know the importance of environment and especially now the debate of and uh, all the things we are that's uh, con happening concerning uh, the climate change so became uh, became in, uh, intrinsically linked to the laws on the economy and the chapter briefly discusses this as well the idea of accountability you know who is to be blamed who is going to be accountable for anything that happens wrong of the manufacturer as well as the government to the workers and citizens as large at large is one of the key ideas underlying in this chapter so chapter 9 is public facilities here we can see amu and kumar are traveling through chennai in a bus as they go around the city they observe uh, the water facilities available in different parts of chennai so here you can see anna nagar okay how this house is uh, washing you know uh, ram gopal uh, you know washing his car whereas in uh, saida pet you can see padma and here you can see a line you know basically of utensils waiting for the water here in uh, uh madpagam here siva is uh, here you can see a bed water is there on the table so yeah here you can in uh, myla pok you can see subramanya here a water tanker has arrived so you have seen four situations let's see water and the people of chennai okay uh senior government officials like mr ram gopal live in annanagar chennai this area looks like uh, looks lush and green with lawns maintained by generous spraying of water bungalows here have tap water 
for major part of the day on days when the water supply is inadequate mr ram gopal speaks to the senior official whom he knows in a municipal water board and a water tanker is easily arranged for the house like uh, most of the area city uh, uh, area areas of the city subramanian's apartment in mylapore suffers from water shortages this area gets municipal water once uh, in two days a private borewell meets some of the residents water needs borewell water is however brackish to the so the residents use it in the toilets and for washing for other uses water is purchased from tanker subramaniam spends rupees 500 to 600 per month uh, you know on buying water for, from the tankers for drinking wa- uh, water residents have installed water purification systems in their homes siva is uh, lives on rent on the first floor of a house in madipakam and gets water once in four days shortage of water is one of the major reasons why siva can't bring his family to chinne for drinking siva buys uh, bottled water padma works as a domestic help in saidapet and lives uh, in a nearby slum she pays rent of rupees 650 for the hutment which has neither a bathroom nor a tap connection for 30 such hutments there's a common tap at uh, one corner in which water comes from a well well for 20 minutes twice daily a family gets to fill a maximum of 3 buckets within this time the same water is used for washing drinking in summer the flow becomes becomes a trickle to you know trickle down is like tuck 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 like almost like that so that one family gets water only at the cost of another या तो किसी को मिलेगा या किसी को नहीं मिलेगा एक को दूसरे की उसमें मिलेगा या कोई दूसरे का ले लेगा या फिर यू नो एक को ओके सो आई एम सॉरी आशली लाइट जस्ट लाइट जस्ट वेंट अवे सो वेवी या बाथरूम नॉर अ टैप कनेक्शन फॉर थर्टी सच हट मैंस देर आर कॉमन टैप एट वन कॉर्नर इन विच वाटर कम्स फ्रॉम अ बोरवेल फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ट्वाइस डेली a family gets to fill maximum uh, you know of 3 buckets within this time the same water is used for washing and drinking in some other flow becomes trickle we've discussed that so that one family gets water only at the cost of uh, another ya to kisi ko milega ya fir dusre ko nahi milega aise aise karke hota hai people have to wait long hours to uh, long hours for water tankers so you can see now we here are five things we can see you have seen the four situations illustrated above based on these what impression do you get of the water situation in uh, chennai you know firstly uh, there is not enough water supply to meet the demands of the people and um, yes we can see how uh, there is um, so much water available for some people whereas some people get uh, only three buckets water and that too you know they pay so much for that and whereas you know compare we have 1 2 3 4 these are four uh, uh, stories okay one uh, four situations which are uh, telling the condition of water in chennai so you can compare and then again for you know make one answer and write pick out the various sources of water for households from the descriptions alongside so one is of course you know we have tap water then we have the tanker there then we have this um uh uh this bottled water there is one person who's buying then municipal w- water that's coming then uh, we have a bore well system okay to meet the demands and then we have a uh, water purific sorry then we have water purification then uh, you know we have water tankers also so yeah w- what in your view is similar and what is different in subramanians and uh, padma subramanian padma where is subramanian so yeah of course there is water uh, uh, you know um, scarcity in both the cases so here uh, we uh, here it's saying that what is similar and what is different in subramanians and here so similarities of course they both face the problem of water shortages and uh, here if we say what is different then see the uh, mr subramanian uh, he gets water once in two days whereas you know um, there is a, a common tap for padma like which is common for 30 other people 
and they get water for they everybody you know everybody the total time uh, for water is 20 minutes twice daily and here they can only fill three buckets and for that in that only they have to do washing uh, you know in that three buckets and drinking and everything whereas mr subramanian he can uh, you know buy water of uh, you know from tanker and also has in water purification system what does water flow in the trickle in summers in most places because see because of the summers you know water there is um, water uh, but this thing the need of water increase and more because we have agriculture we have other things you know which which requires water more in especially in the summers so that is the reason and you can obviously uh, you know uh, uh, compare in your houses that whether you use more water in summers or in when or in winter months in general you can do that is there a general shortage of water for everyone in chennai yes there is a general shortage because even in the case of uh, a senior government official he saying even if uh, most of the uh, day uh, uh, you know uh, time of the day the water is the tap water works but sometimes if there is a situation like that then uh, he calls uh, for a water tanker can you think of two reasons why different why different people get varying amount of water of course it is the you know the difference you know the discrimination only on the because they have a private house and big facilities to live where they can pay for it here also they are paying but they are not given much importance by the municipal boards and etc you know because they are not their target audience and they don't have a say in the government so that's that's how poor people are actually you know they suffer more water as part of fundamental right to life so let's see what is essential for life and for good health you know uh, now not only it is necessary for us to be able to meet our daily needs but safe drinking water can prevent many water daily uh, water related diseases india is one of the largest number of cases of diseases such as diarrhea dysentery uh, cholera over 1600 indians most of them children below the age of 5 reportedly die every day because of water related disease these deaths can be prevented you know they can be prevented if people have access to safe drinking water so you know here we talking about the importance why it is necessary because you know most of the diseases are water related whether you talk about diarrhea or you talk about dysentery or you talk about chlorella so if you have a safe drinking water access these all can be prevented and so the lives can be saved so the constitution of india recognizes the right to water as being part of the right to life under article 21 this means that it is the right of every person whether rich or poor to have different amounts of water fulfill to fulfill his or her daily needs at a price that he or she can afford in other words there should be a universal access to water everybody you know regardless uh, where that person is uh, rich or poor they should have access to pure drinking water there ha there have been several courts cases in which both the high court and the supreme court have held that the right to safe drinking water is fundamental right more recently in 2007 the andhra pradesh high court restated this while hearing a case uh based on a letter written by a villager in uh, you know mahabubnagar district on the contamination of drinking water the village complaints was that a textile company uh, was discharging poisonous chemicals into the stream near his village contaminating the groundwater which was a source of irrigation and drinking water the judges directed the maha uh, mahabubnagar district collector to supply uh, 25 liters of water to each person you know 25 liters of water of each person uh, water to each persons in the village so this was the you uh, uh you know the judgment uh, by the court so yeah here you can see the i think this is a delhi jal board wala because it's saying delhi dl right to water entitles everyone to sufficient you know let us see what are the characteristics here they are talking it should be sufficient everybody should have the amount of what they need it should be safe it should be acceptable and it should be physically accepts um, accessible it it means that they don't the person who needs water doesn't have to walk you know 20 kilometers like in the previous it is even you know today that in india 
women they you know you've seen you might have seen pictures of women carrying uh, you know pot in their uh, earth pot in their uh, on their head and uh, walking at least uh, 10 to 20 kilometers to get that to fetch that water so they're talking it should be physically uh, be accessible and affordable water for person and domestic use not only for doing the household chores um like uh, uh washing or planting or gardening but it should also be available for personal like drinking water it is by united nations 2002 public facilities now let's come here like water there are other essential facilities that need to be provided for everyone you know it has to be provided for everyone last year you read about two other such facilities we have already discovered uh, have discovered about healthcare and sanitation similarly there are things like electricity public transport schools colleges that are also necessary these are known as public facilities public facilities matlab they has to be provided to everyone the indian constitution guarantees the right to education for all children below the ages of 6 to 14 years equal equity in the schooling facilities available to all children is an important aspect of this right however activists and scholars working on education have documented the fact that schooling in india continues to be highly unequal even if it's a right to education by the constitution you know um still there are the uh, facility of schooling is highly unequal some people have it and whereas some people still do not have access to good schooling so we are here let's see what says it here the government needs to play an active role in providing adequate access matlab adequate matlab it should be sufficient to proper health uh, facilities for the entire population this includes the eradication of preventable diseases like polio as shown in the above picture so you know uh, uh, the water should be adequately available to everyone because uh, this is an important part if you want a uh, proper health facilities for the entire population and this is even the one of the reasons you know we've already discussed that water related diseases whether we talk about cholera or we talk about dysentery or diarrhea these are what water related and you know how you can link how important it is to have pure uh, clean drinking water the important characteristics of a public facility is that once it is provided its benefits can be shared by many people so you know it is the important it benefits can be shared by many people for instance a school in the village will enable many children to get educated similarly the supply of electricity in an area you know to an area can be helpful for many people farmers can run pump um, pump sets to irrigate their fields people can open small workshops that run on electricity students will find it easier to study and most of the people in the village will benefit in some way or the other so how is government uh, you know coming into picture let's see that given that public facilities are so important someone must carry the responsibility of providing these to people the so, this someone to the government most of the most uh, one of the most important function of the government is to ensure that public facilities are made available to everybody you know you know we are talking about provided we being provided we are talking about availability let us try and understand why the government and not and only the government must bear this responsibility we've seen that private companies operate for benefit in the market you know because private companies they are they're not working for people they're just working to make profits you you know we've read this about this in the chapter on the story of shirt in your class 7 book and most of the public uh, and most of the public facilities there is no profit to be had you know uh, public facilities most of them which are there there's no profit to be had matlab there's no actually going to be a profit for example what profit can you acquire from a company for keeping the drains clean or running an anti uh, malaria campaign for if you want to sell in shirt you have a profit because if you sell it you know uh, at a higher price you will earn you'll earn the profit we saw uh, we already saw that in class 6 uh, book that a shirt that uh, was needed uh, a shirt sorry a shirt that is sold in the market the um, 
manufacturing costs and everything from their cloth to the final product it was 600 total but it was sold in uh, uh, for amount 1200 so you know just see the difference almost double it was being sold whereas what uh, what profit will you get if you uh, you know clean or uh, uh, you know clean or um, clean the drains or you know run an uh, anti malaria campaign nothing it is just only for the public good and benefit how who will come and be the responsible for that yes i will come and do and opt for it nobody so it is the whole uh, responsibility on the government to do it a private company will probably not even be interested in undertaking such work nobody no private company or no uh, company would be interested in taking up work for cleaning the drains and uh, other or a campaign or public uh, uh, interest campaign like anti-malaria but for public facilities such as schools and hospitals, private companies may well be interested. You know, we have many of these, particularly in large cities. Similarly, if you are living in a city, you will have seen private companies supplying water through tankers or supplying drinking water in sealed bottles. In such case, private companies provide public facility, but at a price that only some people can afford. And even if there are private companies, you know, who are providing public facilities like schools and, um, you know, uh, this thing... Uh, uh, hospitals then these are they are providing it at a cost which is uh, only affordable by certain groups in the society whether you talk about sealed water how many of uh, how many times do you drink sealed water you know if it's mostly by traveling and who are the people who travel who can afford traveling so that's only selective right in such cases private companies provide public facilities but a price that only some people can afford hence this facility is not available to all at an affordable rate if you go by the rule that people will get as much as they can pay for then pay for uh, then many people who cannot afford to pay for such facilities will be uh, you know deprived of the opportunity to live a decent life uh, do you think that if uh, you know sorry uh, do you think it's very important you know uh, do you think that if somebody cannot uh, afford uh, uh, something they should not have an uh, opportunity to live a decent life no everybody every citizen of our country is equal we are living in a democratic country and they have equal access to all the public facilities whether you talk about schools you talk about hospitals or you talk about uh, uh, public transport or electricity we all are part of a democratic country india and we all have equal right in it clearly this is not a desirable option public facilities related to people's basic needs and these are people's basic need you cannot go without uh drinking water you'll die you'll die of thirst you know um any modern society requires that these facilities provided so that people's basic needs you're talking here about people's basic needs you know the most essential need are met the right to life that the constitution guarantees is for all people living in this country the responsibility to provide public facilities therefore must be of that government you know the responsibility now we're talking about a responsibility and here something that is really important is a right to life which is article 21 so where does the government get money for public facilities now we are saying that you know public facilities are to be provided to everyone they should be available to everyone but where do they actually if they are not uh, private companies won't come up because it's not profit so where do the government get money to provide all these facilities see every year you must have heard that a government budget being presented in the parliament this means uh, this is an account of the expense of the government has made uh, has made on its programs in the past years and how much it plans to spend in the coming year so you know it's a budget uh, it's basically an expenses uh, you know expenses of the um, you know the the pura you say you know just you make a like a list now what you need what you don't need or how much did you spend last uh, week and etc so that's like a list of the expenses how much you spent over the past year and how much do you uh, tend to spend uh, in the coming year so that's like this in the budget the government also announces the previous uh, the various ways in which it plans to meet this expenses they'll say i want to spend 100 rupees on buying a new cloth okay for example you but now you will think that where will i get those hundred rupees from who is going to give me now you have to even think that now you're not working you don't uh, you you are kids like you don't uh, uh, not uh, work in any company so now you have to think that where will you get that hundred rupees from right the main source of revenue for the government is the taxes for government it is the taxes for you all students it is your parents your parents are your source 
so the source of revenue for the government is a tax you know collected from the people and the government is empowered to collect these tax and use them for such program for instance to supply water the government has to incur cost in pumping water carrying it over long distance laying down pipes or distribution treating the water for impurities and finally collecting and treating waste water it means these expenses partly from various taxes that it collects and partly by charging a price you know they either collect they uh, charge a price for that uh, for that facility and um, uh, they of course through the taxes uh they collect this price is set so that most people can afford a certain minimum amount of water for daily use so it is this amount which they uh, they live in charge it's not going to be like 1000 or 2000 it's going to be a minimum price you know maybe 10 rupees maybe 5 rupees maybe uh, 20 30 rupees or maybe 100 rupees a minimum price that can uh, be affordable by everybody you know so that at least they can get a certain amount for their daily use for example let's see your okay central government spends money on uh, interests defense subsidies economic services social services grant assistance for state and utilities and their uh, states share in central taxes police others this includes agriculture so you've seen you know this is how much they spend on uh, uh, certain things and so on so it's like a pie which is divided i give you a cake you divide it among your classmates your best friend will get the biggest piece your uh, the person you don't talk to might get uh, a smaller piece you know for example or example when you distribute sweets in your class your best friend is the person who gets 5 to 6 toffees okay and um, that's like a pie i'm just giving you an example though the distribution i'm talking about the distribution how it's done so yeah let's see as amu and kumar ride around chennai so this chapter actually started on two uh, you know kids who are traveling around the city of chennai and they're see- seeing the difference of uh, you know water that is available amu See, uh, did you notice that the roads in a side the path were so bumpy and without street lighting? I wonder what the place is like at night, Kumar. What better can you expect in a slum? So Ammu says, why should slums be like that? Shouldn't they have a uh, they have uh, public facilities, Kumar? I think public facilities are for those who live in proper houses in colonies. They are the people who pay taxes. Why? So Amu says that why do you say that slum dwellers are also citizens and they also have rights Kumar are the government will go bankrupt like this so they're having a discussion that if they provide you know free facilities to uh, everyone and you know especially those who don't uh, pay, pay tax then the government will actually go bankrupt like this then Kumar uh, then Amu says well it has to find a way can you imagine what it would be like to live in, sl- uh, in a slum without proper roads Uh, water or electricity can you imagine would you be able to stay in a slum where there's no electricity best of water facilities so uh, now kumar says or uh, he's not uh, getting any to to anything to you know he doesn't have anything to answer so amu says that our constitution recognizes many other many of the f- uh, public facilities as being part of right to life you know many of the f- uh, facilities you know which are of uh, public facilities that are are part of a right to life so this is very important okay whether you are rich poor you have it you should have access to it because it it is uh, you know part of right to life the government must see that these rights are protected so that everyone can lead a decent life now here we talking about that of course whenever we talked about right rights and especially fundamental rights we are talking that it should be protect, uh, protected and uh, they should have access to it and uh, you know why because everybody deserves a decent uh, way of living so in this discussion whom do you think is it uh, uh, who's right and wrong according to you you can see break up of the tax of the central government so you know how the taxes are here from what are the if this is the tax what are these all represent where do rules get it so um, a major portion of these you know taxes are is a customs union and excise tax and service tax whereas uh, personal tax is okay only 16% and uh, 41% is corporation tax so that's also a huge amount the customs and the corporation tax is a human is a huge amount compared to to personal and um, other tax are to just minimum it's not buses are the most important uh, forms of public transport over short distance it is the main link to the workplace for majority of the working people with the rapid urbanization uh, public bus system ha- uh, system even in the major cities has not been able to keep up 
the with the demand as an alternative the government has planned ambitious metro rail project for delhi and other metropolitan uh, metropolitan cities rupees 11000 crore was spent from the government budget for the construction of the first segment of the metro rail in delhi using the latest technology people have pointed out that this massive expenditure could have been avoided if only a fraction of this amount was spent on upgrading the public bus uh, bus stop so would you agree what do you think could be the solution for the other region so here we are saying that you know if uh, the uh, so when metro was be uh, was built and everything so it costed around rupees 11000 uh, crores for you know using the latest technologies and coming up with this metro so there was this other thing that uh, that was you know a uh, debatable that if they would have you know made uh, other some you know other um, if they would have made just renovated or repaired the bus services it wouldn't have costed much and uh, do you think do you also believe that uh, buses are more efficient than the metro do you think that what is your opinion uh, every every transport has a different role to play you know whether see buses good everything but metro connectivity is uh, also different you cannot compare and but there's also a saying that yes there's also always a debate that what about they could have just improved on the bus services and better buses could have been you know more uh, purchased and uh, the last mile connectivity can only be done by the bus and uh, you know other things you know small even because even the bus cannot provide the last mile connectivity they cannot just drop you at home and so can the metro also not drop you home but yeah so that's it what are the public facilities what are public facilities why should the government be responsible we've already discussed we here we are talking about profit and non profit you know versus uh, non profit okay we are talking about uh, you know so that's what we are talking about we're talking about rights we're talking about that it has to be provided to everyone we're talking about whether the uh, profit and non profit uh, aspect and we're talking about whether it's accessible or not the government can get private companies to deliver some of the public facilities for instance contracts on building roads given to private contractors distribution of electricity is done by true private companies however the government must keep a close eye watch on these and ensure that they fulfill their commitment to reach out these facilities to all at an affordable price why do you think that the government must uh, assume the over uh, all responsibility for public facilities even if uh, you know when it gets private uh, companies to do part of that job because it is their responsibility we've chosen them to uh, lead the country and to make policies and implement and also when we've already talked about that the aim of private company is to gain profits whereas for the go government it is their duty it is their responsibility look at the water bill and find out the minimum rate for your you know municipal you can see and does it it raise increases as though you water uh, as you use water find out the various kinds of taxes people pay in the government by talking about a uh, by talking to a salaried person or uh, you know and um, a person running his own or factory business or shopkeeper you know and then you can discuss with your check out your bills that come whether it's the electricity bill or the water and then you can compare with what comes in your friend's house 